Hey there, it's Richard Brandt, Monos Historian, and you're watching Stream It Now. Amazon Prime is a special treat for you today. It's The Accountant, the Oscar-winning short film from 2001, produced by Ray McKinnon and Lisa Blunt, and starring Walton Goggins. Also, The 1950s Guide to Women in the Workplace looks at actual training films that advised human resources managers on how to deal with the influx of these strange new creatures into their offices. Also, the Malaysian documentary, Absent Without Leave, in which the filmmaker uncovers his grandfather's secret past in the Communist Party. From China, a cop thriller, Bad Policewoman. The documentary, Bee People, looks at activists trying to stave off the declining bee population. Brother Number One is a documentary that looks at the filmmaker's brother and his abduction by the Khmer Rouge. Bunny Man is the horror film that launched the successful franchise. Now you can see its humble beginnings. Jim Wynorski's 80s classic, Chopping Mall, featuring lots of familiar faces like Dick Miller, Paul Bartell, and Mary Warnoff. Days of Hope is a documentary looking at African immigrants bound for Europe. Dengue, the hunt for a vaccine, is self-explanatory. Extinction Patient Zero, is about a small group of scientists holed up in a safe room to wait out the apocalypse. Everything about that setup screams tiny budget to me. The Game Warden is a psychological thriller about a game warden spiraling down into insanity after a bear kills his son. Well, seems reasonable to me. Gangsters, Gamblers, and Geezers is a crime comedy from Britain. Ghosts of the West looks at abandoned ghost towns out in the great wide open. Greek Pete is a docudrama about a year in the life of a London rent boy. The series Hitler's Last Secrets looks at various lesser known chapters from Der Fuhrer's life. Incident by a Bank is a Swedish film about a real life bank robbery that won a prize at the Berlin Film Festival. The Medicine Seller is a drama about corruption in the pharmaceutical industry. What? No, say it isn't so. The Pass Rusher looks at a football player dealing with the after effects of game-induced concussions. The Phantom of the Opera, the Lon Chaney silent classic from 1925, here with a new original score by Loy Cook, who did the same thing for the Corinth film's release of Metropolis. Poison the Land of Fires is a look at the largest illegal landfill in Europe. Pretty Ugly looks at one man's mission to overturn conventional wisdoms of modeling agencies. Pulling John is a look at competitive arm wrestling. Tactical Force is a Steve Austin thriller. The Veteran is the thriller directed by Sidney J. Fury and starring Ali Sheedy and Michael Ironside. At least that's what they say. They're showing the poster for an entirely different movie, though. Viva Cuba Libre looks at Cuban rappers at odds with the Cuban establishment. Viva Amazonia looks at educators in the rainforest. And finally, a genuine classic from 1948, Alan Ladd in the action picture Whispering Smith.